It is probable that King Charles Ayai and Queen Camilla will be looking forward to spending some much-needed quality time with their family at Balmoral this summer, despite the fact that this year will be bittersweet. The members of the royal family are getting ready to embark on their first trip to Scotland for a summer vacation at Balmoral since the passing of Queen Elizabeth II a year ago. After over a year has passed after the passing of his late mother, King Charles is looking forward to spending his first summer at the home in Scotland, along with his wife, Queen Camilla. He will be hosting the event. The Prince and Princess of Wales, along with their three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, will be among the guests who will accompany the pair. On September 8, the family will have been without their late monarch for an entire year, so the days and weeks ahead are likely going to be filled with mixed emotions for all of them. The royal couple was seen attending a church service at Crathy Kirk on the previous Sunday while they were already in Balmoral. Reportedly, the rest of the family is going to do the same later this week. It is widely thought that the king and queen are currently residing at Burkhall and that the rest of the royal family will be joining them there in the coming days, as is traditional for their summer vacations. As a result of a decision made by the queen to prolong the summer opening hours, the grounds will be open to the public until today, August 16. However, this will be the last day that the public will be able to observe them. This almost certainly indicates that preparations for the royal family's summer plans will start very soon. The late Queen Elizabeth II, who continued the practice of spending the summer at Balmoral, arrived at the Scottish residence at the beginning of August on a yearly basis. Princess Eugenie, the late Queen's granddaughter, has already discussed the time she spent at Balmoral with her cherished grandmother. She did this in a prior interview. During the making of the documentary, Our Queen at 90, which aired on ITV in 2016, Princess Eugenie stated, it's the most beautiful place on earth. Eugenie, the youngest daughter of Prince Andrew, commented on her grandmother's fondness for the property, saying, I think Granny is the most happy here. I think she really, really loves the Highlands. Walks, picnics, dogs, a lot of dogs, there's always dogs. She continued by saying, and people coming in and out of the building constantly. Because our entire family lives there, it is an ideal location for Granny and Grandpa to have their home. It is also convenient for us to visit them there because there is enough of space to play and breathe. On the first anniversary of the Queen's passing, the Prince and Princess of Wales are scheduled to take the lead in leading tributes to the late Queen. It was customary for the late monarch to remain at Balmoral until the month of October, hence her family will observe the anniversary at the very same location where she passed away. Grant Harold, a former royal butler, was asked to comment on behalf of Spin Genie and claimed that the trip to Balmoral will be one filled with mixed emotions for the king. It is said that the king will be privately commemorating the anniversary, and there are currently no preparations for a public ceremony or any private family reunions to take place. 